Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a shaker card that I made for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. Your Next Stamp is a sponsor of one of the great prizes so I wanted to use some Your Next Stamp products for my card today. This is a larger than A2 card. It is five by six and a half. It's a card and envelope set you can get at Michael's. And I used some of the pattern paper in the package to line the envelope as well. Now this is an older pattern paper. It's long been retired from Stampin' Up. And there was a sheet in it with these images on it. So the mugs, the coffee pot, and the two go cups were fussy cut from the pattern paper. It's a single layer of foam tape card, uh, shaker card. So it's not a whole lot of bulk. It'll go through the mail okay. And what started the whole card, because surprisingly, I didn't have any Your Next Stamp coffee images which has since been remedied. I've ordered two sets, but in the meantime, what was I going to do? And I remembered the washi tape sentiments. This is a, one of these stamp sets that stays on my stamping table all the time because there's a great variety of sentiments in there and they go from um, Christmas, winter, all, all year round with happy birthday. And there's a coordinating die set as well. So this one stays on my stamping table. I use it constantly. And that's where the All You Need Is Caffeine is from. And you can see I die cut it with the coordinating washi tape die. Faces, they are from the Oshitaki stamp set. So I stamped four of the faces in the four windows and the grid itself comes from the photo booth panel die set. This is another one that I use a lot. And you know what, I haven't even used some of the other options. I've done the stars and the layering, but this actually cuts on three sides and lifts up as sort of a window and you can have it on any one of the squares. So there's a lot of versatility in this die set. So as I said, I chose to make a shaker, adding one face to each of the squares because they crack me up and just some various filler from my stash. Now inside, more patterned paper, Two more fussy cut images of one more Your Next Stamp face from the Oshitaki stamp set. And then the funny verse is a funny bones stamp from Riley and Company. So that is the first card. And when I was finished making it, I looked at the fall away pieces. So there was the four squares and the rectangle that fell away when I cut this wood grain frame. And when I flipped the pieces over, it was this black and white coffee print. So I cut another photo booth panel out of white cardstock and then simply inlaid the squares from the previous card in. Mounted it to my card base and then decided I wanted a scallop circle. Now, <laughs> coffee puts the zippity in my doodah day. I figured a stamp like that deserved an action wobble. So. That's what I used to attach my scallop circle to. More retired stuff. The coffee word die is a retired die from Verve. The coffee beans are an old stamp I've had for quite a while. It's a Karen Berniston coffee bean stamp. It's from the coffee and tea set that's long been retired. But that puts the zippity in my doodah day. That's from Casual Friday Stamps and I believe it is still available. Inside, another uh, set from Casual Fridays, some more coffee beans, and that's my second card for the day. I hope you will make sure and check out the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. In addition to great prizes, oh my goodness, there's so much inspiration. Every year I love this hop. There's just, I get so inspired and I could just make coffee cards for weeks afterwards. And that's it for me today.